Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'd like to begin with a little observation test. This is just to make sure that everybody is following what I'm doing and uh, hopefully trying to watch as closely as you can. So I'm going to touch my fingers together three times. Now you have to watch real close because the third time I touch my fingers together, a solid silver coin will appear at my fingertips. Watch. One, two, three. These fingertips. <laughs> ah, I know I cheat. Now this is a solid silver coin. If you watch it really carefully, you see it change into two solid silver coins. You're probably wondering where the other one is. Well, magician's rules state that I have to have one up the sleeve, and that gives me three solid silver coins. Now what's going to happen to these is very interesting, because they're going to start over here, they're going to end up over here. But it happens real quick. So I'll do it again. Okay. Now watch. Two here, one here. One jumps from here over to here. Did you catch it? Okay. You're going to see the third one go. Did you see it go? Did you see it go back? Oh. Yeah. Now the last one's real interesting because you're going to see it vanish from here and reappear here. The audience then goes wild with applause. So it vanishes from here, reappears here, and the audience goes wild. What I'm going to do now is what uh, a lot of magicians regard as a coin trick that uses four cards. Except I do it a little bit differently. I only use one card, and I don't use any coins, okay? Because I'm a lot cheaper than most magicians. <laughs> now to do this, I actually use old cards. See, old cards, <laughs> okay? And uh, we need someone to name any card they like. So any card you see there. Try and name one of the spot cards, like not one of those. Mm -hmm. Five of hearts. The five of hearts, okay? Take the card mm -hmm. and write your name over it, right across the face, in exactly the same way that you would sign your credit card or checkbook. Okay. okay. Now you're marking that card on the face. I'm going to mark that card too, but on the face and the back simultaneously. That would be quite impressive if you actually think about it. Well, maybe you shouldn't think about it too much. What I need to do that is one of these, a hole punch. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the five, just blow in it a little bit, and I'm going to punch it once over here, once here, and the same thing at this end, once here, and once here. So what we have now is a lovely card with four holes punched, one in each corner. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you see these holes? Yeah. Okay, watch. Now remember, this is normally done with coins on the table. This is done with holes on a card. I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to move it. Up to here. See that? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to take this one here. Move it up to here. Can you see through these holes okay? Yeah. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to move it along to here. So here's the mystery. With four holes, they start off one in each corner, mm -hmm. they all end up in one corner, and what you're thinking right now is, is that my card? With your teeth in, you're thinking, is that my card? Yeah, yeah. That's why I have you sign your name right across the face. Wow.